Hold on, brother. You sound very vain. Hold on, brother. Right. You sound on, vain. Brother. brother, just hear me out. Hear me out. Majority. Stop saying we. I can say we, but I'm going to tell you why I can say we. Because majority of, and if you saying this is not true, it's an outright lie. And it's no disrespect to you, brother. Majority of African, so-called African-Americans cannot trace their genealogy past a certain part. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm saying it's very, very difficult. A local woman is trying to celebrate her heritage for Juneteenth by tracing her lineage. For African Americans though, filling that family tree can be challenging because of how black Americans were treated and a lack of proper record keeping during the American slave trade. But as the I team Sean Gallagher shows us, it is possible to find your roots. Hey, good to see you. Yeah, how you been? When it comes to tracking back my own lineage, my uncle Gary has it locked down. I've got 2,800 people in my family tree. He traced our family's origins back to the colonial days, and even my dad's side back to Ireland. I was hoping that I could get back maybe to the Civil War. Um, never expected to go back to the Revolutionary War. Because there were better records kept from our European ancestry, it made some things easier to find. But not everyone is this successful. There are roadblocks there, and it's like you can't go any further because they're, they're not any, there's nobody who would know. Her ancestors didn't choose to come to America. Instead, they were forced over here into slavery, losing their language, their culture, and their freedom. What does that do to you and your existence? I absolutely love my full lips as an African-American woman, and I've come to love my nose. These things, the things that, the features that make me a black woman, right? I love those things about me, but the things that challenge my being, I'm not aware of where they all hail from, where they come from. All she's been able to find is four generations back through a grave site in Mississippi for her great great grandmother who was born in 1878. Where do I go uh, in the world if I want to meet the people who are closest to my indigenous culture? We have uh, the brick wall of all brick walls and that's slavery. Nick Sheedy is the lead genealogist for the PBS series Finding Your Roots with Dr. Henry Louis Gates Jr. He says when looking into African-American ancestry, he still rarely finds success beyond the Emancipation Proclamation. I would estimate that I'm only successful 20 or 25 percent of the time. I'm only successful 20 or 25 percent of the time to identify the last slave owners. And if you don't know who you're looking for as slave owners, uh, that's very, very difficult. Majority of African, so-called African-Americans cannot trace their genealogy past a certain part. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm saying it's very, very difficult. Difficult, but not impossible. That is your original African ancestor, brother. That is Charlie Lewis. That's my great, great, great grandfather. The eyes are the same. Musician Amir Thompson, who you may know better as Quest Love, was a guest on Finding Your Roots, where Sheedy's team found a needle in a haystack. I would have never guessed that we would find a record like that, but uh, the Mobile Public Library has this captain's diary. I would have never guessed that we would find a record like that, but uh, the Mobile Public Library has this captain's diary. You are the only African American I've ever met who could name the ship I'm on the absolute last ship. You are the only African American I've ever met who could name the ship. I'm on the absolute last ship that ever came here. If you knew that your great ancestors were, you know, like carpenters, farmers, what would that give you? Such a sense of being, a, a, a purpose. And I think that's necessary for, for human beings to thrive. Nick says the key is to be able to identify your relatives back to at least 1940. From there, he suggests talking to the oldest living relative you know. Find out names, birthplaces, marriages, any of that information can be crucial towards finding your own roots. And for the descendants of enslaved people, the Freedmen's Bureau of Records can be a gold mine once you're able to trace back to the Civil War era. Nick shares many more tips with us about how you can do this at TMJ4.com. Just click on this story. Reporting for the I-Team, I'm Sean Gallagher.